Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Ria mu lebu. Ria mu le. Ria mu le.
Jesus' name of the summits. Do you understand it? Huh? If you understand it, you will never worry again. Amen. You are hearing what I'm saying to you? Tell your neighbor, if you understand what this song is, you will never worry again. Amen. Ask your neighbor, what are you worried about? Huh? Ask your neighbor, we're coming to pray for you, but ask your neighbor, what are you worried about before we pray for you? Huh? Let them answer you. Say, Anta, what is worrying you? Huh? Let me tell you this. If you read the Bible, it says Moses, after he killed someone, he was running away. And the Bible says he met God there. But there's something that God said. When the tree was burning, Moses said, who are you? God said, I am who I am. Meaning I don't have a name. I am the beginning and the end. You know, I am everything. Why are you worried? Why are you troubled if there's God? Moses was running because he was worried. He just killed someone. Many of you, you are here today, you are worried, but you are in the church, in the presence of the Almighty God. You don't have a small faith that you can believe that God can change this problem. Listen, you can still perish when you are in the church. Because you, you don't believe. You are just coming You say, Ergobon, Ergobon, Ergobon. Let me just go and see. People will be receiving blessings in front of you because they believe God. Tell your neighbor, say, believe God for something. You are, you are saving an almighty God. Huh? I can't hear you. Amen. Amen. If you serve an almighty God, why worry in your heart? Worried. Can we sing it for the last time before we pray for you? Huh? Because when I'm singing it, I feel like I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. I, you know, I can do anything with this God. Oh, yeah, because I'm about to bless you. Even you this week, I see you pecking. You are leaving your mother's house. I see you leaving your father's house. And I'm seeing your parents come here and ask you, where are you going? Say, Jesus has blessed me. Say, Jesus has blessed me. I don't know if you're hearing what I'm saying to you. Huh? This week, I see you pecking, pecking everything. When they come, you just say, Anyamalala wa Untwalo esundo sabi wa Anyamalala wa Anyamalala wa Anyamalala Untwalo esundo sabi wa Anyamalala wa Anyamalala Untwalo esundo sabi. How many of 
you are staying at home, let me see your hands. Do you stay with your parents? Huh? Even when you are staying in a small house, lift up your hands. Let me see you. You are looking for a bigger space. I want to tell you, this is a week of packing. I said, this is a week of packing. I can't hear that. Amen. Holy Spirit, those that you are blessing this week, touch them now. Touch. Touch and release them. Touch. God is about to release you. I said, God is about to release you. You know, let me tell you this. Many of you, uh, you cry and say, you know, God bless me, God bless me. Are you ready for that blessing? Are you really ready for that blessing? Huh? Are you ready for that blessing? I can't hear you. Are you ready for that blessing? Huh? If you are ready, can you shout for the glory of God? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. You know what? Let me tell you. Let me tell you this before I close. You know, <laughs> there are things that God can do. You even laugh when you're sitting alone. You ask yourself, but how? Imagine you grow up without shoes and you become a multimillionaire. Huh? I see things turning around this week. And I want to tell I want to tell you, many of you that are doing business here, I see connection this coming week. Uh, you will be in a meeting of millions. And they will give you those millions. I'm speaking alone. Let me close. Amen. Because I want to see someone who had nothing. I want to see a Range Rover coming here. Huh? You heard what I said? I want to see a Range Rover coming here. And what we are shaking is you, a child of a poor woman. I want to see G63 coming here. I want to see a Lamborghini coming here, a Ferrari coming here. With your name on it. It's just number plates. Number plates, they are very small. If, if number plates were long, you know, uh, I will do a number plate that says, make your way in the name of Jesus. If it was possible, you know, I'll pray to God and say, God, give me a car. I write, make your way in the name of Jesus. Because when you read the word of God, the word of God says, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and I'm also life. So when you have Jesus, you've got everything. Clap hands for Jesus.